I'm a Christian, but I still find it interesting people with Jesus and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. When you say you're Christian, what do you mean by that? I follow God. Like, Who's God in Christianity? Christian, but uh, you can't, you can't describe the Trinity. Yeah, okay, he's given the answer now. The God, God is the Trinity. What is the Trinity? Um, the Jesus, Jesus. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, so which one is God? The Father, Son, or the Holy Spirit? All of them. All of them. So it's three gods. The, 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 it's all the same person, but it's like a similar. It's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. metaphor, you know what I mean? It's the same person, but, but it's three. It's yeah. three forms. Three, it's like three different... Of forms. Like, yes. Forms. So he embodies That's the Father, the, Son, and Holy Spirit. So you believe there are three, the, the, the Trinity is three different forms? Yes. yes. Three you, persons, one being. Okay, yes. he now, he is the educated one, it seems like it. Because this, what he said is correct. Forms is incorrect, actually. Forms is very incorrect uh, belief to say. The correct belief, according to the Nicene Creed, and then Constantinople okay. Creed, is what he said. Okay. So there are three persons in one being. But the question, is this yep. when Jesus is praying who is he praying to Sorry? To the Father. Why isn't he one with the Father? He's the Son. So he's like, there's three different persons. So aren't they one? They're one being, but three different persons. So isn't the Father and Son also with one? But they're, they're separate persons. So is he praying to the Trinity or just the Father? Just the Father. So he's just praying to the Father? Yeah. So how can they be equal when the Father doesn't pray to anyone? Because he's, the father's he's the main powerful. guy. How can he? How he's can they be? Powerful. I think he's praying. So the father sent Jesus to earth, no, so like he was begging for help, actually. What? Like he, he, he begged for he help for us. In, in the Garden of Gethsemane, no? Yeah, yeah but but, but the thing us. is, but the thing is, should I have a free Quran? Yeah, yeah, if you come decide, yeah, of course. If you come decide, we'll give you one, no problem. Okay, so, 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 uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was saying, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me, right? Yeah. And he was seeking help, he was asking for help. He help because he was about to get prosecuted. Does that seem like God to you? Yes. Or does, does Jesus... Seem God be begging for, for help. No, no, Je Jesus is the embodiment of the, of the Son. Jesus is the, per Jesus is the sac is sacrifice that the Father, is the sacrifice that the Father made to get rid of the sins of the world. No, I just want to be simple. I'm a very simple guy. Was he God when he was on earth? No. He wasn't God. Now you're Mr. President Christian. And look, a minute ago you were good, you know? Christians believe in something called the hypostatic union. The hypostatic union says that he's 100% man, 100% God. Yeah. When he was on earth, he was God according to Christianity. So what you said is not correct. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not, it's okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to conversate with you, right? I'm not trying to hold you in some. So according to Christians, he was 100% God. So when I say, say to you, does that seem like God? I'm asking that question because the the Christians do believe he was God. You get the point. And the thing is, if I ask you this, does God know everything? Is he all knowing? Yeah. Is he all knowing all the time, or just sometimes he knows? Sometimes he forgets. I believe he is. Of course, all the time. Or he isn't God, isn't it? If he don't know something, you're not God. Yeah. Did Jesus know everything all the time? I think so. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, he's the educated one, so I'll get his answer. Then I'll come back to you. Ah. I mean. I think I'm not saying to be fair. I'm, I'm, even though he was 100% human due to the original sin, I think he still sins, but he was 100% God. No, no, about sin. I'm talking about knowledge. When he was, if you say he's 100% God, he has to have all the attributes of God. Was he all knowing? They say yes. Was he all knowing when he was on earth? I think he was. Uh, okay, the three of you are wrong according to the Bible. Uh, open Mark, chapter 13, verse 32. Do you know what it says? What's the Mark's Gospel? Mark's Gospel, yeah. yeah. Chapter 13, verse 32. Jesus says, no one knows the day and the hour. Not the angels in heaven, not the Son, only the Father. So not even the Holy Spirit. So how can they be equal when one knows something and the other doesn't know? They're, meant to be meant to be. They're not meant to be equal, are they? They are, they are, they are. They're three persons. According to the Trinity, they are. If you don't believe in equal, you don't believe in the Trinity, then. So, I'm surely some people can, can... You have to pick one, you can't pick and choose, you know? people can, like, interpret the Bible and, like, Christianity <laughs> in their own way. Like, some people pray, like, oh, privately, and some people pray in, like, church, the church called one, church called But the Bible says certain things. It's an objective fact. The Bible is written in language, and language conveys meaning. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so, so people can twist what it says, but there are explicit statements there. I'll give you an example. Does God have a God that he worships? No. no. God, is. God is the God of everyone. Yes. But Jesus said he has a God. He said in John, if you open, if you read John, sorry. No, but he, but that's they're supposed to be equal. It's not, it's not supposed to be another God. It's supposed to be another person in the same God. But he said to Mary Magdalene, "I'm going back to my God and your God, my Father and your Father, my God and your God." 
he actually said, let me tell you this. He said the only true God is the Father. How can he be God there? In, in John chapter 17, verse 3, he said the only true God is the Father. Not the Holy Spirit, not the Son. He said, oh, he said the Father, which is one person, which is not the Son and not the Holy Spirit. So if he literally explicitly says to you, the only true God is the Father, how can you claim he's God? Because he took away the sins of the world. But that doesn't mean you're God. Even if I accept that true, to be true, he doesn't, doesn't mean you can take away. God can use someone to take away the sins of the world. Doesn't mean he's God. Did Jesus ever say, I am God? Yeah, Excellent, he did it. Yeah, no. Okay, the son of God, Adam is called the son of God, Ephraim is called the son of God, uh, David is called the son of God. The Bible says, blessed be the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. Any peacemaker is the son of God, literally, right? Son of God means nothing in the Bible, literally. Everyone can be the son of God. But the point is, is he ever claiming to be God? Did he ever say worship no, me? He, he, he did not say worship me. He was there to like... He worshiped God. He, he worshiped God himself like in the garden of seven. And he taught you to pray to the Father alone. Yeah. Uh, well, he, he, he said, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Only the Father. So it's only to the Father. Yeah. So if he's only worshiping the Father and teaching you to only worship the Father and never mention the Trinity in his life to you, nor did Abraham, nor did any of the other prophets mention the Trinity. Where did this Trinity come from? Where is it in the Bible? I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'll tell you it's not there, and you can Google it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get a single verse that, not the word Trinity, but the concept. You're not gonna get a single verse that says. I was just telling you now. The church history, when the Roman Empire adopted Christianity, you have Constantine. He became the Roman Emperor. He became Christian, and then he, uh, they changed the beliefs of Christianity. They made Jesus equal to God in the Council of Nicaea, 325. You can read it. There was Arius who was arguing that Jesus is subordinate to God, is not equal with God. And then you had Athanasius arguing no, he was equal. And the end of the council they said no he's equal and then anyone who believes anything else is blasphemy then 381 they brought they introduced the idea of the trinity the holy spirit into the mix and now they brought this belief uh, that you've got like uh, uh, three persons in one being this crazy belief which doesn't make any rational sense by the way right and then later on they introduced the hypostatic union in the 400s right uh, councils that happened later on right so you've got all of these beliefs developed historically and these are things that even christian scholars say it's not my, my it's not my view that this is what happened this is literally history yeah, I'm Christian, but like that's what I believe. But you believe because the church told you to believe that, but the Bible doesn't teach that, and Jesus didn't teach that. If it's in the Bible, why do people watch? If it's not in the Bible, why do people believe that? Because most people don't read the Bible. Like, a lot. I, 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 I personally read the, the whole Bible. Bible. Did you I'm, read the whole Bible? I'm, I'm, this I'm, is my thing. I'm be <laughs> I'm not read Look, Bible. most Christians do not only not only do, do, do they don't only read the Bible, the whole Bible. They don't know the the earliest manuscripts. The question is, which Bible do you read? The NIV. Why do you read the NIV? Why Why should we accept the Bible of the Protestant that have 66 books over the one of the Catholic that has 73, over the one of the Orthodox that has 82? Or the one of the Ethiopian that has 88. Which one is the true Bible? I mean, me, I'm, I'm Italian, so I'm Roman Catholic. Exactly, that's why you read what you read. Yeah. But the question is, aren't Christians supposed to have one scripture? Like Muslims all have one scripture. So Even if you are a different sect, you have the are same scripture. Like, are they not different? Um, I, I, like, I don't want to use an incorrect term. Sect, sects. You can use the term sects, but all Muslims believe in the same Quran. Like, There's 114 chapters in the Quran. It's the same Quran for all Muslims. But didn't they all are, are, are they all Abra Abrahamic religions? Huh? Are they all Abra uh, uh, like, sorry if I'm wrong. No, no, you can ask. Don't worry. Are they all yeah. Abrahamic religions? Who? Uh, Islam, Judaism. Yeah, we don't, we don't use that term. We say Abraham was a Muslim. And now that might surprise you now because a lot of people think that Islam started with Prophet Muhammad. We don't believe that. I'll tell you why. Do you know what the word Muslim means? Muslim means the person who submits his will to God. Did Jesus submit his will to God? Submitting your will to the creator. Jesus said, let it yeah, not yeah, be yeah. my will, but your will, literally. No, no, he literally said, let it be your will over my will. It's not my will, but yeah. your will, right? Exactly. So he literally submitted his will to God, right? Did Abraham submit his will to God when he told him to do what to do with his son? Yes. To slaughter his son. He submitted his will to God. The, your own son, like, God's telling yeah. you. Yeah, and he didn't kill him. He was going to do what God told him to do. Right? Your to the true God. God. Without being Muslim, so still be Christian. No, no, but this is the thing. I'm saying submitting your will to the true God. In this case, is Allah. This is what it means to be a Muslim. So let me ask you this. Abraham was before Jesus and was before Moses. They were not even yet born. What religion was he? I think 
Christianity is just like a branch of Judaism. That's no, like, Judaism came later on. Look, Abraham had two sons. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the history. Abraham had two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac had children, right? From them was Jacob, who was named Israel, and from his sons is Judah, where you have Judaism and Judea and all of that. It's way later on. So, how what, what religion was Abraham? Who was before all of that? Yeah, so if you want to say Abrahamic religion, you need to order the religion of Abraham first, isn't it? We claim that he cannot make an irrational sense to claim he was, he was Christian because there was no Jesus. And he cannot be Jewish because there was no Moses or Torah. He had to be something else, right? And did he submit his will to the one true God? Yes, to so his by definition, a Muslim. And you know the traditions of praying, how, how Abraham prayed, he, he, fallen, he, fell, he fell on his face when he prayed. It's how Muslims pray. You know how Jesus prayed? On his knees. Right? No, he fell on, this is how the Catholics pray. But Jesus didn't pray like this. He fell on his face. If you open Ma Matthew, chapter 26, verse 39, it says that Jesus fell on his face and he prayed. This is how Muslims pray. This is how Abraham prayed. I've got Muslim friends and whenever they pray, they touch their heads and like, like on the floor, right? Yeah, you go on the floor, they, on the floor, they, they prostrate and their head is yeah. on the floor. Yes. So we say this is how all the prophets of God prayed. This is actually how Moses prayed too. How Jesus, I just told you the reference, right? And how Abraham prayed. So when we look at Abraham, where he brought circumcision, all of these tradition, traditions, he was initially a Muslim. And Prophet Muhammad is just a final messenger in a, a long list of different messengers. So just like we believe Jesus was a messenger, we believe Abraham was a messenger, we believe Prophet Muhammad was a messenger. We don't believe he was God. And we don't believe he came to die for anyone because you're responsible for what you do and I'm responsible for what I do. Do you believe in like the Trinity of Jesus? Or like no, no. The t we refuse. Look, the Bible says there's only one God. In Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Here you are, Israel, our Lord God is one God. One God. Not three in one, not four in one. Abraham didn't teach Trinity. No, other, no prophet in the Bible, including Jesus, worshipped or taught Trinity. Why would we believe it as Muslims? We don't believe in it. Believe in one God alone. Where do you worship? Who's not a man or a woman. Doesn't die. And we say, we say that God can never be a man. In fact, the Bible explicitly says that God is not a man. So I don't know how some Christians claim that Jesus is God. If you read Hosea chapter 11 verse 9, and it says God is not a man, literally, word for word, that's what the Bible says. Yeah. God is not a man. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, but Jesus was a man. You brought him as him. No, no, but Jesus was a man, according to the Bible. But he, he was hopes a man, but he God. Again, contradiction. Contradiction, it's a, you're just saying a contradiction, but the question is why do you believe that it's not in the Bible? Why, 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 the 100%, 100%, where is that in the Bible? <laughs> As you, uh, I, I've crossed over the full Bible. Okay, but, but the, I've been taught from like the church. The church. But you're just saying what I'm saying. It, it can, I'm saying that the church is teaching you things which are not in the Bible. They in, in, invented a belief which is not in line with the teachings of the scripture. And the Christians of today, most of them follow the church, not the Bible. So are you saying I should just stop church and follow the Bible? But if church is a house of God where you go to worship God, then why would I stop going to church just to read the Bible? No, no, but, but this is the, the, the thing anyways. Like We don't believe church is the house of God. Like, what do you what, mean? Like Islam. We believe in a mosque is the house of God. Yeah, we believe the church is where people worship a trinity. The church is where people worship a trinity. God is not a trinity. So how can it be house of God when they're worshiping other than God? God is a trinity. Again, where is that in the Bible? Where did God say to you I'm a trinity? Ah, look, I'm going to accept it if you show me in the scripture. Where does God say I'm a trinity and he gives us the scripture? Go ahead. You can Google it if you like. Google it, Google it. So you can know that I'm just not making this up, you know? <laughs> Google it and you'll see why I said to you. Do you know the Trinity what is what you said? Three persons in one being. So you need a verse that says, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, there are three persons in one being. That's what you need to find. You can't know internet? I got internet. I got internet. Three. There you go. Search what you want. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> did he tell you there is no Trinity in the Bible? <laughs> It says here on Wikipedia, but I know that's true. It says what? It like, it just gives me like... It gives random verses. Go to them, you'll see. None of them talk about the Trinity. <laughs> it doesn't 
say there's a trinity. Though. It's not going to say trinity. They, they just they just lie to convince other Christians that there's something there. I, and you can do your own research when you go home. Look, I, I'm telling you, you can Google it because I'm conf- Look, I've been doing this for a while. You know, <laughs> this is not the first time I talk about Christianity. Look, there is no such thing as the trinity in the Bible. There's no explicit statements of Jesus saying anyone should worship him. There's explicit statement that he isn't God, like the ones I gave you. That the only true God is the Father. He's praying to him. Yeah, yeah. He prayed to him and he said he's the only true God, literally word for word. In that, in in John 17 verse 3, and he says he has a God. Mm. Can I not contradict? Not contradict, but can I not just believe like something? Can I cannot just believe the Father is the only true God and like not kind of like make my own religion, but have my own interpretations of it. There's something called Unitarian Christians who believe that the Father is the only true God. So the Unitarian Christians believe the Father is the only true God, and they believe in the Bible, they follow the Bible, they believe the Father is the only true God, and they believe Jesus is the Son of God according to the Bible, which is the teaching that the Bible teaches, and that He died for humanity and all every other belief, but they don't believe in the Trinity. So who is Allah? We believe Allah is an excellent question. Allah describes Himself in the Quran. Allah is one, independent, self-sufficient. Allah does not give birth, nor is He begotten, and there is nothing like unto Him. This is what Allah is. So when it comes to your conception now, your mind you cannot visualize what God is. He's beyond, beyond your conception. But you know He's all powerful, all, all knowing. He's independent, self sufficient. Everything depends on Him. He doesn't depend on anyone. Right? So the difference between Allah and the Father. This is, this is the thing. We say essentially there is no difference. The only difference is this name, the Father, and to say that God has a son. We reject this terminology. Other than that, the Father is the only true God. It will be in the Christian tradition. Allah will be the Father in the Christian tradition. But without that name and terminology. You understand? So we believe Jesus was worshipping Allah. He was worshipping what you call the Father. We believe he was worshipping Allah, right? It's just a different name. But the, difference the difference is the Trinity. And the fact that Christians believe that Jesus died for, for mankind. We don't believe that. We believe you're responsible for what you do. But like, I know it might sound weird, but like, as a white like, man, is, is, it not, is it not difficult to be like... Jesus was not a white man. This is a, another lie he told you. Well, 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 he looked like me, not you, by the way. Uh, he was, uh, I'm a North African Arab. He looked more like me than he, he would like you. So the fact is, these people, it's a funny thing, but it's, it's good you mention it. Because a lot of people in the West, unfortunately, they think that, that Christianity is a white man religion. Jesus was from Palestine. He was from Bethlehem. He had like probably a beard, right? And you know how he prayed? He fell on his face. His mother was covered. That's why he, every church, is, she's covering her head. He didn't eat pork. He fasted. He was more a Muslim than any Christian out there. So how is it a white religion yeah, when like it was... was, religion. was I, I don't think it's a white religion because it was like, not like the Bible was not set, but like the Bible... The only reason you're Christian today is what I told you. The Roman Empire adopted Christianity. Yeah. That's the only reason that the Europe is oh, Christian. Yeah, I'm, I'm Italian, so the... Like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the only reason that people, they accepted the message of Jesus, who's from in the Middle East, right? And and then when the Roman Empire adopted Christianity, you have the Europeans come, becoming Christian, right? That's, that is the, the end result. But the fact is, none of it is a white religion if you want to say white religion we, we don't talk about race anyways we don't uh, uh, the prophet Salam, before he died you know what he said he said we're all from adam and adam is from dust he's created from dust right we're all from adam and adam's from dust there is no superiority of a black person over a white person or a white person over, over a black person or an arab over a non-arab or a non-arab over an arab he said the only difference is piety the more good you are righteous the more you're elevated in status in the eyes of god that's why you've got muslims everywhere in every different color in every different ethnicity. As a white man, is it not weird if I just walk into a mosque? Like, I'll be like... No, no, it's not. This is the thing. Nothing is weird. We actually do open days in many, multiple of the mosques here in the UK, like East London and this. They do an open day where people enter and they look at the mosque and how Muslims pray and everything like that. The thing is, only 20% of Muslims are Arabs. 80% of Muslims are non-Arabs. Many of them are white, many of them are Chinese, Japanese, every every kind of culture you can imagine. But if you're talking about entering the mosque, this is, we, take, we can take you there no problem we can connect you with people if someone wants to become muslim that's what we do like first they learn about islam they, they're sure that they want to take that step and become muslims and then what we do is we connect them with people we take you to the mosque ourselves you we introduce you the first time and then you'll get used to it it's just like entering i've been to a church you know i'm not scared to go anywhere right but some people yes there is this fear in the beginning you know to okay to go to these people who look at me differently no what in fact they will welcome you in any mosque you, you choose to go to what is it between the quran and the, and the bible what is the difference that the bible is written 
written by different people and those different people are just writing history many of them did not claim that they're writing the word of God it has contradictions because you're just writing history the Quran is verbatim the words of God preserved from the time of Prophet Muhammad until today it's the teachings of God not a history or biography of a man like Jesus the biography of Jesus which is the New Testament right the Quran is about God it's about guidance for you and about the Creator and about what, what will happen in the afterlife and it's preserved completely no changes unlike the Bible there's not many Bibles corruptions and changes it is completely preserved there's a difference between the two do you want the Quran I'll get you on here. Uh, can you give me one more copy Quran yeah I have a lot of like. We don't have more, or we have. Yeah. Yes. I have a lot of like um, Muslim friends that like tell me about. Like, I did a bit of fasting over Ramadan. Like, yeah. I did like because most my not most but like I have like six or seven friends that are Muslim. Uh -huh. So I just like learn like what they believe. Uh huh. Um, and like, I I I don't like. I think of it like, you know what, that's like, that should be me, but I, I, I think of it more like, it's to understand like, like their point of view, like why they don't. Yeah, but Jesus fasted. <laughs> Fasted for 40 days. And fasted for the whole of men. And also, like, yeah. Men, Christian. Yeah. Because the plantations. Also, Fridays, you're not like men. And also, I'm, I appreciate Christian. But the thing is, my question to you is what does it mean to be a Christian? If it means to follow Jesus, to, to imitate Jesus and follow his life, if Christian means to follow Jesus, then you are closer for following Jesus as a Muslim than you are in any other religion. Then don't you think that maybe Jesus was just on earth? Well, I, I, I mean, I'm not saying it's fake, like Jesus is fake, but like. I think Christianity can just be something to like. Promote. We believe in Jesus. He's not gay. He's not fake. Well, like to Christianity, like to promote people, like people being good people. Like, it says like, if you're a rich man, give what you possess to me. Like there's, there is, like there's. I got what you're saying. No, no, no. The, the reason why is because these books or these prophets perform miracles to demonstrate they're from God. If you just their claim, uh, what you're saying can't be true. If you just they claim it, just for uh, reforming society is what you're trying to say. No, those people perform miracles. The people who saw Jesus here in the second the blind, Moses split the sea, Prophet Muhammad the splitting of the moon and what happened with him. People who witness these things, right? Also the Quran itself is a miracle, living miracle today that you can use to be sure that this is the revelation from God. The information it has within it, the miracles that the Quran puts forward, right? This is the evidence that this has to be from God. I will read it. Yeah, read it. And if you've got questions, look, you're welcome to come back. All of you, obviously, you're welcome to come back anytime. If you've got any questions, you're welcome to come back, you know? You. It's nice talking to you guys. Yeah, see you guys.